Hi everybody, and it's Darren from Kingfisher Computers here. Okay, uh, today I'm going to show you um, how to create an OSX boot USB. Um, obviously, I created a video on a live stream earlier um, where um, an OSX reinstallation had actually failed. Simple reason that version of OSX was online. Uh, there was an issue downloading and installing Lion on that particular Mac. Could have possibly been one of two reasons. One, um, my Apple ID wasn't associated with that Mac. Um, I'm not 100% certain if that was correct. The other one is um, possibly uh, my Apple ID was not supported with OS X Lion um, 10.7. So what I'm going to demonstrate is obviously how to download um, more up-to-date versions of OS X and install them onto a USB pen for instances such as um, the one I had earlier, which made me look like an idiot. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to plug in this USB pen uh, into our Mac. We're currently on the Kingfisher Computers web. Uh, I've written a blog about how to create, um, obviously, a bootable USB pen. Um, obviously, by the time you potentially read this blog, it's going to be way down my page. Um, so, what I'll do in the comments below, I'll put, uh, obviously, the link to, obviously, the blog. Um, I'm obviously on the blog at the moment, but... Um, we're not going to need it just yet. Okay, so I'm going to minimise this page and this page and this one and close that one and that one and that one. Okay, so you can see the USB pen is currently mounted. First things first, disk utility. Obviously, I'm using um, Sierra here, 10.12. Um, Disk utility does vary between different versions of OS X. Um, this one being probably um, the least user interacted um, version of disk utility. Previous versions, you could repair permissions, repair disks, um, mount, partition, restore, um, a little bit more extensively than you can in this version. Okay, so here we have disk utility, and we can see. Um, the Sanders Cruiser, which I have, which has been freshly formatted. Okay, there's nothing on this at all. But um, we're, we're going to have to come back to this because the next point is we need a version of OS X, whether it be Lion, Mountain Lion, Sierra, Mavericks, Yosemite. Okay, best place to get this from is obviously Apple. I'm not third party um, torrent sites or websites, Apple is the best source. To obtain um, obviously DMGs or ISOs of OS X. Um, if you've been using Apple products for a while, you might have a quite an extensive list of each version, obviously, as you've downloaded or upgraded versions of OS X in the past. So, what we're going to do, click on uh, the Apple icon in the top left hand corner, and we're going to go to the App Store. In the App Store, we've obviously got across the top featured. What's that one? Top charts, categories, purchase and updates. So if we click on purchase, you'll see I have different versions of OS X. Sierra, which I beta tested. El Capitan, which of two versions, which I also um, beta tested. Yosemite, which as you can see, it's got the install. I have downloaded this because uh, that's what I'm intending to install onto the USB pen. Mavericks, you can see Mavericks actually has the download option because I haven't downloaded it. Uh, and Mountain Lion. Okay, so if we just remember Yosemite is what is now downloaded to my MacBook Pro. Um, so if we just keep Yosemite at the back of the head and then what we do is we click on Spotlight and we type in Terminal. Okay. And from terminal, we can now see that we're logged in on obviously my Mac, Dashboard Pro. Um, I'm Dash. And we're going to go back to the Kingfish Computers website. 
on the blog. Okay, so if we we're going to use the command and terminal create install media. Okay, so the path of each individual version of OS X, which is downloaded, does actually download to applications install. Um, obviously, it used to be OS, now it's Mac OS. They changed the name. Um, and obviously, where the content is stored. So, you see me here. That's where it's stored, but that's not what we're going to do. Okay, so this is where it's stored. And then, if we have a little nosy, right, I'll open uh, Untitled, which is my hard drive. Oh, it was already open, like a knobhead. Applications. Uh, you should see it somewhere. I'm guessing it's a hidden file. There we go. Install OSX Yosemite. And obviously, what this points to is the package contents. Okay. So if we go down to the examples, this is obviously um, the details of what it's going to install from and to. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to copy this um, bit of code and obviously paste it into um, OS X. But if we look at it, well, you see me. If we look at the look volume, volumes, my volume, and then the path. Yeah, so in this case, we can see that the drive I've mounted is called untitled. Yeah, it might be a different to you, but what we can either do, one of two things. We can either rename the name of the drive or um, reformat the drive in disk utility. It's probably going to be easiest to do that. Okay, so if we just click erase, rename it, and it was my volume, yeah? B O L U M E. Okay, and then we just erase the drive. Alakazam, bish bosh bish, badoom. Okay, and are we done? It's still a raisin. We'll mount on the disc. Okay. So, now that's done. I'm going to copy this code. Was it Yosemite we downloaded? Highlight all. Two finger click or right click, whatever you prefer. Copy. We're going to open terminal back up, okay, two finger click, paste, yeah, I'm going to hit enter, so if we look, the volume is now called my volume, enter, it's going to ask for the password, so I'm going to put the password of my MacBook in, hit enter, right, ready to start, continue with the erased disk, yes we are, okay, and we're going to click Y, it's erasing the disk, it generally this takes between 10 and 20 minutes to do, but once it's done, you will see um, OSX will be complete. Okay, so I'm going to minimize this, close this, and that's copying the installer files to disk. And as you can see now, it's actually already converted the file to OSX. Okay, so what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave this actually running because I've got no need to be present. Um, and then once it's done, I'll finish the video and then um, I'll make another video um, demonstrating how to use um, this pen. Okay. Thank you very much. I'm down from Kingfish Computers. Please like, share, comment, whatever the fuck you want. Um, and if you need any help, why not give us a call at Kingfish Computers? Thank you very much. I want to give you this beautiful little view of a MacBook Pro. MacBook Air. And my wall.